Doyon's Circle Air Oven features a removable rotating rack system with variable fan speeds for 100% uniform baking. The steam injection system gives you a precise mist for the best crusty breads, bagels, french baguettes, and more. This oven delivers perfectly even baking with no wasted product. The CA6X oven comes with these standard features. Intuitive touchscreen controls with 32 programmable recipes, 8-stage baking with temperature control up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit, an exclusive rotating rack system for even baking. This eliminates the need for rotating pans and saves labor. A jet air reversing fan system with variable speeds and shot and pulse steam injection, a patented power vent moisture evacuation system, USB port for changing recipes, is available with or without a stand, is stackable for double duty baking capacity, is available in gas or electric. In today's video, we will be going over operation, controls, usage, and cleaning of the CA6X oven. Once your CA6X is hooked up to the appropriate power supply, it is ready to be used. When the screen turns on, press the power button in the center of the screen to start the oven. The oven will automatically begin to ramp up to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. First, we will go over how to operate the oven in manual mode. To change the temperature, select the temperature button on the top of the screen. Type in the desired temperature and then hit the check mark. If you have decided to keep the existing temperature, you can hit the red X to cancel out of the keypad. The flame symbol on the top left of the screen indicates that the oven is heating and has not yet reached the desired temperature. The flame symbol will go away once the oven is at that temperature. To change the time, press the clock and enter in the desired bake time in minutes and seconds. To see the current temperature of the oven, press on the existing set temperature to view. To start the timer, press the green start button and the timer will begin to count down. To add time during the bake, press the plus one minute button. Each time you press the button, it will add one additional minute to the bake. You can always change the time completely by changing the timer at the top of the screen. To stop the timer, press the red stop button. Towards the last minute of the bake, the time will change color to let you know that you are nearing the end of the timer. To silence the timer, hit the red stop button. The rack stop button will automatically bring the front of the rack to the doors. Opening the door will also bring the front of the rack to the front facing position. If you wish for the rack to start up again, either close the doors or hit the rack stop button again until it is green. To change fan speeds, press the fan speed button until you arrive at the desired airflow. The low fan speed is best for more delicate products like croissants, meringues, custards, and some varieties of cookies. The low fan speed has a lighter airflow and will add some time to the normal bake time of the product. The high fan speed has a strong airflow and is good for bread products, some varieties of cookies, puff pastry, and more. To set the fan delay, select the fan delay button and then choose between one minute, three minutes, and five minutes. The fan delay turns the fan off for that selected period of time. The fan delay is best when muffins or cupcakes are starting to form their crown and this will prevent them from sloping and leaning over. The fan delay is also useful at the beginning of the cycle when more delicate products are setting up to prevent them from blowing over, like French macarons, the meringues, and croissants. It can also be used to help prevent waves in custard products or in a sheet cake during the beginning of the bake. 
There are different fan cycle rotations to choose from. This determines how long the fan rotates in one direction, stops, and then rotates in the other direction to have the most even airflow possible. A shorter fan rotation, such as one minute, allows the fan to rotate more frequently and is great for products with even bake times. A one and a half minute fan rotation works well for products with odd bake times, like three minutes, nine minutes, and more. A fan rotation with the pause in the middle works well with delicate products because it turns the fan off for a period of time before the fan changes direction. Cookies work well with this kind of setting because it helps the interior get done before the outside is finished. To turn the power vent on, press the power vent button. This will rapidly evacuate moisture from the cavity. This button is great to use towards the end of an artisan bread cycle to allow for maximum crust formation. 10 seconds of venting can accomplish what a passive vent in a deck oven will do. To stop the power vent, press the power vent button once again. To manually allow for a large burst of steam, select the shot steam button. This will dole out the maximum amount of steam possible for the set temperature. A 30 second fan delay will follow, allowing the steam to settle on the product. To have smaller bursts of steam pulsing throughout the cavity at 30 second intervals, select the pull steam button. This can be used for cheesecakes, bagels, or even cooking vegetables. To stop the steam from pulsing, select the button again. To program a recipe and see other options, select the program button found on your home page. Type in the passcode 7123. In this mode, you can change the temperature from Fahrenheit to Celsius, edit a recipe, set the date and time, control the volume of the buttons, save recipes to a USB, or load recipes from a USB. To edit a recipe, select Edit Recipe. Choose any empty or existing recipe to edit. In programming a recipe, you can set up to eight stages of baking. To change settings in the first stage of baking, start by selecting the time of the stage. Enter your desired time for the first stage of the recipe and press the check mark once complete. To change the temperature, enter your desired temperature and press the check mark. To add steam to the first stage, select between pulse and shot steam. If you select pulse steam, select how often you would like to have small bursts of steam, then type in the desired amount to be distributed. The unit will not allow you to distribute more than is allowed for the current interval and temperature setting. If that is the case, it will automatically set the maximum amount. If you would like to set up one large burst of steam, select shot steam. Enter in the time you would like the fan to be off after the steam is distributed into the cavity. 30 seconds is usually ample time to allow the steam to settle on the product. Then select the amount of steam in milliliters you would like to distribute into the cavity. The unit will not allow you to distribute more steam than is possible at that temperature and if set too high will calculate the maximum steam that is allowed at that temperature. To turn the power vent on for a period of time, select vent. To have the vent turned on for the entire time of the stage, select on. Remember the power vent only needs about 10 to 20 seconds to evacuate moisture for things like artisan bread. 
To have the vent pulse turn on and off during the entire stage, select Pulse. Then choose how long you would like the vent to pulse on and how long you would like it to be off between the pulses. To have the vent turn on after a specified time and then remain on for a period of time, select Delay. Select how long before you would like the vent to turn back on. Then select the time you would like the vent on. Now select the fan speed desired. You have options of low, medium, and high. To select fan delay and fan rotation, select the fan cycle button. Here you can choose between preset options for the fan rotation or create your own. The pulse selection allows you to choose how often you want the fan to rotate in either direction. One minute or more is generally recommended. You can also choose if you would like it to pause any time in between. If you select delay, this will delay the fan at the beginning of the stage. You can delay the fan up to five minutes. To add more stages, select the plus button. To delete a stage, highlight the stage in blue using the up and down arrows and press the minus button. You can edit a stage when it is highlighted in blue. Once you have finished the recipe portion of the program, select Next. Next, select the icon to be used for the recipe. Then, type in the name of the recipe desired and press the Save button on the top right corner. To access a recipe and start a baking cycle, select the recipe button. Select the recipe you would like to load. The recipe will begin to load and once it reaches temperature, it will beep. To cancel a loading recipe, select the X on the bottom left hand corner of the recipe. Select yes. Thank you for watching this instructional video. If you have any more questions, please consult the operation manual on the unit. To see the full product line of all Doyon ovens, please visit our website.